Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. So that's how that happened. So then I wound up getting a deal. I did the same thing. Man, I know y'all won't sign me, but sign this nigga. <laughs> Yo. That's how I wound up getting on throw the ass in the circle because the label was like, man, I don't give a fuck how y'all feel. It was really just a Ronnie and Young Nation song, to be yeah. honest. That was some Dallas link up shit. Like, yeah. Ronnie was big, da Dallas, I mean, Young Nation was big. Yeah. That was some Dallas link up shit. So how did you, I mean, yeah, so how they, how did you end up on that record? Like, I just told that was a label call because I had got a deal. And I told them instead of signing me, sign my partner Lil Ronnie. What label was this? Fam Life ENT. It was an independent label. They come from California. Okay. And man, with my partners, man, they had that bag. I, you know, out the streets from Cali. It's a, it's a, it's a, bruh, it's a, it's a family tree when it comes to how all this shit played a part. Yeah. But like, we tied in with Oakland. I got that shit chatted on my own. That's Fam Life. You know what I'm saying? But they wanted to sign me, put some money behind me. I said, bro, put y'all money behind this nigga. Talking about Ronnie. Mm -hmm. They did it. And, you know, in the midst of all that, that's how Circle come about. This was Ronnie and uh, Young Nation clicking up. And the, the label was like, bruh, I don't give a fuck how y'all feel. We can put my press on this bitch. Because at this point in time, the label was proud. They was like, bruh, we ain't know why this nigga didn't take our deal and, and put it on this nigga. But at this point in time, we was hot, independent, getting show money. Them niggas was like, bruh, put my press on this song. Like, and that's how that happened, you feel me? And so we, we out there, we talking before the interview started. And I'm like, bro, where y'all play at? <sighs> like, you know, Beyonce dance to y'all music. That they part. still playing that record. For sure. For sure. So yeah, the plaque shit, like, if we was with a label, they'd have got us out plaque quick, fast, and in a hurry. Even years ago, niggas was telling us we been, like, sold over six figures years and years ago. It's just like, it's a process of getting that plaque. And we actually going through the process now. But the real deal is like, we dropped that song in 2013. And we just dropped it on YouTube and SoundCloud. So 13 was hot, 14, that bitch was hot as soon as it came out. 13 was hot, 14 was hot, 15 it was hot, 16 it was hot. 15, 16 is around the time Apple Music and streaming start coming around and start counting. So our streams start counting late. And then like, it was all over the place. Different people were selling it. Like we had to get the business clear on it and have it being sold in one spot. Mm -hmm. Like we didn't, we didn't know our business. We was kids making music, bro. But yeah, that song, bro. That's that bitch playing them in the streets for sure. And we about to get our gold plaque. It's on the way. Holly Diamond. Yeah, nah. On, the <laughs> on my life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? On my life. But like that's how our career went. Like so, a lot of these people that's getting on now, you know, it doesn't feel like we kicked the dough down for people like that. Cause it wasn't that sweet when we was doing what we was doing, but we was doing the same shit. Yeah. So that's another part of why you were saying like, like why you showing yourself more? Bruh, cause motherfuckers getting on for doing shit, I've been dead 20 times. And just cause they showed it on camera, they mean now. Mm -hmm. So I'm finna start cutting the camera on, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> And then shit, you know, you got a lot of people like, man, why you cutting the camera on, man? Mind y'all business, man. I don't, you know, go do y'all homework. Huh, straight up. <laughs> nigga, be yeah. a, nigga be in them comments, but they don't go see, like, you know, because a lot of that, like them hood videos and shit, that's not my claim to fame. I'm who I'm is before all that. But like, like, I ain't just there just because I'm there, bro. I, come on, man. Like, I'm there because... Uh, you know, I'm there. Yeah, you know, I'm tapped there, in. Yeah, like, for sure. You know now, I want to ask you, did, um, did Fort Worth just embrace you initially, or you had to, or they had to initiate you in to be like, all right? Nah, I mean, I look, I, I did it slick, bro. Because, like, I, I was playing first video. People don't even know about playing. Right now, playing like the best thing that happened to Fort Worth. So, if I was his first video, it just make, like, if he important, just. It's his grandfather me, and I'm important, bro. But just past that, before I got the paint, walk like joy and rest in peace, DJ Woods, them boys were throwing parties. I was performing at their parties, and that shit got my name out there too. That was before, like, the Ronnie and Pint shit. And, like, I was doing freestyles, and I was performing at parties, performing them freestyles. They was like, this nigga go hard. And then, like, I'll take a cameraman to the parties, and, um, and like I take pictures of people, do videos of people, and I put my freestyles on the on the recaps. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like 2011, fam. Mm -hmm. So now at the next party, they know my shit 
from the recap because everybody got to go see themselves after the party. So, like, I had this song called Strip Tease. <laughs> and I put that bit. Hey, I threw, I threw my own party called Strip Tease Party. And I had all the people in Fort Worth promoting it. Man, shout out to GML. Man, this was a time. That's why I sound this dude. This was a time, bro. GML, Walk Like Joe, and DJ Woods, 2010, Nine Inch Babies, like all that shit. Niggas was throwing parties, and I was just in a mix. I just kept putting myself in a mix to the point to where, man, rest in peace, my nigga DJ Woods, he died. I made that strip to his song, and I said, rest in peace, DJ Woods, tatted on her thighs. Nigga, that song got hot as fucking forward. Mm. I threw a strip tease party, and I put the song on there, it was called Strip Tease, and that was like, all right, this, okay, in Fort Worth, I was that nigga, like, and everybody from the parties was fucking with me, because Woods was bringing me to the parties, like, this my little nigga, he finna perform. Stop the music. <laughs> <laughs> so when Woods died, everybody who had loved Woods, loved me. Nigga, that was the whole city of Fort Worth. So, that was that. So now when I start fucking with Ronnie and painting them, it was just easy. Like, even when we had thought ass in the circle, I was in high school. It came out in 2013, that's the y'all graduated from North Crowley. But early that year, nigga, I was in school letting girls hear my shit. Nigga, I'm passing my phone around the classroom when I go to school. Let me hear that song, thought that ass in the circle. Before it come out, though, like, they gon' vouch. But it was just like, I don't know, I had, I had a relationship with Fort Worth, bro. Mm. To the point to where people thought Ronnie was from Fort Worth. Just like people think I'm from Daddy because I used to hang with him out there. Nigga, people think he from here because he used to hang with me out here. This where he blew up at. That's when Dallas got on board. See, Dallas was really on that Young Nation shit. Oh, Ronnie yeah. come out here with Mike Fresh and Hair Paint and Fort Worth start fucking with him. That's when Dallas was like, oh, he from Dallas. Mm. Nigga, it's on. Yeah, and we go claim him. It's on. Yeah, for sure.